I came out here with, uh, with these wonderful people in Boise, Idaho. Uh, we're trying to resist Trump with his ban and all his policies. Yeah, it's just, it's just an awful thing. It's 2017, and he's bringing a lot of hate, a lot of, you know, uh, a lot of fear, a lot of, uh, a lot of bad stuff into our community, and we're about to resist all that kind of stuff. We're not going to let it happen. We're the people. I'm from Somalia, and my country is one of the countries that he put a ban on it. Uh, I came here in 2012, and it's just, I've been here, I go to school, and I go to work. I pay taxes. I, I do everything else like every other regular people. See, the thing is, we had President Obama, we had President Bush, we had President Clinton, we had President Reagan. All those kind of presidents, they never preached this kind of message. And coming to 2017, and him preaching all this message, all this hate, all this, everything about him is just crazy. He's, I don't know, he's just crazy. I'm the daughter of immigrants. My parents came here undocumented. They wanted to give us a better life. They risked their lives so I can have a, a great life. And so I'm here to support every single person who's looking for the same thing my parents looked for, because that's what matters. We're a country of immigrants. And it's unconstitutional because we're founded on religious freedom, and it's important that everyone can practice their religion. Okay, so my grandparents are immigrants, and they came and made my mom have a better life, and they came and made, and made me have a better life too. I feel really disappointed because they, he, it, it's not right. People are equal no matter what. I would like to tell the Idaho representatives that if they truly are going to stand up for those of us, look behind me right now. This is what the vast majority of us want. We are not afraid of people. We love everybody and humanity will not stand for this. And you need to stand up and be on the right side of history because this is what's happening right now. We the people chose them to represent our beautiful state. And everybody here is speaking out and I would like them to respect all these people and act on it. Because they're the ones who are in the Congress for us. We don't have a voice, they are our voices. What I want to tell my representatives is, you need to have compassion. These are actually human beings. These are people who are leaving their countries for a better life, to run away from fear, to run away from being killed. Open your hearts up to these people. They're bad people and they're good people. And you can't just be like, oh, your religion's bad, so we don't want you in our country.